would not be happy to finish university at 19 like am i crazy that's that's my like when i got to uni i kind of met someone that i really really love i don't want ugly men dming me i don't give a fuck about y'all i swear like i mean like i'm so over meeting less friendships like if you want to basically hear me tell all my business watch this video from the beginning to the end <laughs> Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Nancy Chiki and in today's video, I can't lie, it's not like grab a drink, grab whatever it is. It's gonna be like a long form video of me actually just talking and being real and raw with you guys because I haven't been on this platform in so long. And don't forget to subscribe if you know, you do, you do end up liking me or you like my video or whatever. Long story short, the reason why I have not been here a lot is because, you know, I basically was making more money on TikTok for I'm back now. A lot of things have happened in like, the past time the part the last time that you guys were here first thing that happened obviously i really told you guys i finished uni and like guys i don't know i don't know if i have a sense of direction right now like i feel very lost i feel like i don't know what to do like it's not like i don't know what i want but it's like how do i get there and what are the steps like don't get me wrong i know what i want and everything but it's like everything that's going on in my life so basically i just finished uni like i'm literally 19 years old yes i finished uni early like i like i don't really want to get into the specifics of that because that's not why we're here long story short so i got into uni when i was 16 i got my admission when i was 15 and i started when i was 16 right so come second year i I, I did not like the course. I was like, do you know what, actually? I'm gonna switch, and this pulled me back. I was actually supposed to graduate in like July, but I just finished in December because I wanted to study medicine. Like I wanted to become a doctor, like I still do. I applied to medical schools, but I only got admissions for physician associate, which is like a step down from what a doctor is. You're basically a doctor, but you can't like, um, prescribe or order ionizing radiation i got an interview for that but i don't know if i want to go because it's like i really wanted to be a doctor and it's like i don't want to be a step down from a doctor like i know that right now that the less responsibility and the thrill of it is gonna like i'm gonna find it fun but it's like when i'm older like i'm in my in my 30s and my 40s i'm really gonna look around at me like i should have just waited and studied medicine because i've been kind of looking into what i do with my degree i'd applied to graduate schemes i started looking into like other fields marketing sales Sales, different different types of things like I, like and then also you guys also have seen like i also started taking my social media a bit more seriously i've seen that i i really really enjoy this like guys when i say creating content generally makes me happy like it does not like no matter how tired i am like literally it's 123 a.m it's literally 123 a.m no matter how tired i am i was doing uni full-time i was in third year I was working, I was working in healthcare. I used to work 12 hour shifts. I still come home after those 12 hour shifts of being on my feet all day and I'd be playing with makeup, I'd be editing because it just made me so happy and it came so naturally to me. I did not know I was a creative until this past year because my whole life, like everyone always thought like I was all brains, like okay, science, this, doctor, that. So it's like now I've, I've been presented with opportunities that I did not even expect life to throw, throw at me. So it's like, I'm one of them people who are good at a lot of things so it's difficult to choose like I'm not even trying to chew my own horn I'm blessed for that 100% because not everyone can say that I'm the kind of person who finds it easy to learn things I find it easy to like you know um adjust to certain things adjusting is not so difficult for me so I'd say that's another thing that's the problem because it's like I think I would do quite okay in any field obviously there's some fields where they're the core naturally to me so that doesn't even help my situation because it's like some people are sure like if it's not this it's not that if it's not this it's not that but i'm here like i'm good at marketing i'm good at content i'm good at medicine i'm, I'm good at science should i still press on and apply to med school again next year anyway long story short i've just been feeling very lost i feel like i have like i don't want to say i have no sense of direction because that's actually drag but it's like now i just want to chill because i'm only 19 i just moved back home i i got a full-time job but i'm not sure i want to take on that role because it is full-time like it's a responsibility like i want to be able to just chill like maybe because the job is it's in sales like but yeah, I just want to chill for now. I think that's what I'm going to do. Take a year out, like just find like a little part time job with like my new responsibility just so that I can rest because I'm never going to be 19 again. Like I, I don't want to take the, I don't want to take it for granted that I graduate at a young age. So I really just kind of want to, I don't want to like go off track, but if you know what I mean. And I'm like, people have been asking, oh yeah, why are you saying you're free when you've not done a master's degree? I'm like, I'm not doing a master's degree unless I'm passionate about it. I am not doing that because 
so I don't really know what this year is going to bring but like one thing that I want to do is be back on YouTube because I like don't like the fact that I stop being consistent on YouTube like because like I'm really like a YouTube girly like it's it's always going to come back to YouTube like no matter how much I want like you know followers on Instagram and I want my Instagram to look very very much popping but yeah and I also want to touch on something like I if you told me like um a couple of like years ago that I would become like somewhat of like a fitness influencer or content creator or someone who's helping people and helping women re regain confidence in their body or like encouraging younger girls to go to the gym or younger people to go to the gym I would not have believed you like I'm just so incredibly proud of what I've achieved this year like every stack my TikToks have been doing so well like TikToks I make about exercise my videos on here about weight loss like because there was genuinely a point and time in my life where I could not look in the mirror without feeling disgusted like this is me being very open and honest so it's like after losing the weight after losing the weight like I've just just been like literally just so happy and proud of myself like don't get me wrong there are days when like I look in the mirror and I don't I feel like the body dysmorphia kind of comes on because it's like I don't recognize like who's in the mirror but after being overweight for so long it's just so crazy that I'm now helping people like I always get dms of people like basically spilling everything on me so people dming me and telling me oh my gosh I tried the recipe that you posted or I tried an, ex I tried an exercise that you posted it just makes me so happy because like girl what the hell like when you struggle with something and someone's coming to tell you that you've helped them get through that situation just by existing it's such a surreal feeling like I'm never ever gonna forget okay like yeah looking looking great is nice but it's like I just love the fact that people can learn from that's one of the best parts of being a content creator the fact that people can learn from you and you can impact knowledge like I've always said this in my life like I, I want to be a teacher at least once in my life and I did not realize that I was already doing that like everyone's like why would you want to be a teacher like that is so so random and so so weird for you Nancy to say but yeah it's next year 2024 i want my life to look like um i want to take a lot of trips next year i want to make a lot of friends like i want to make a lot of friends and i don't mean just any friends i want to block out the noise and be friends with people who like motivate me like i'm so over meeting less friendships like, like yeah having fun friends who you can go out with and like just like it just ends there it's calm but like i want to be really intentional about my friendships like i don't even mind shooting my friendship short if i like observe that somebody is calm and i think we'd get along like i'm just so over like feeling like i'm doing everything alone that's how i feel i feel like everyone already has like their like um they're like oh me and my friend are doing this me and this person are doing that and like it's like i don't have anyone like it feels very very i don't feel like i won't say i don't have anyone but like i want to feel fulfilled in my in my friendships like i have so many like great online friends and everyone lives so far away but one thing that i really really want from 2024 is like i want to meet my best friend like i want to meet my own friend like i don't i don't want to be toxic and say i don't want to share her but girl i want my own bitch like i want someone who's going to understand me and love me as much as i love them like i have so much love to give i'm very much a girl's girl i have sisters so it's like if i'm your friend like, i don't understand that there's either i don't care about you and you're just a going out friend or like you're my sister you're my blood type of friend like i like there's no in between it's either you're just like yeah we go out and we know a few things about each other but like i'm talking we cry over our trauma <laughs> but yeah um yeah and things that i'm going to be doing to avoid like fluke friendships is really really scoping the person out because i've had like someone like when i was in primary school i always used to say i don't want a best friend i'm scared of betrayal and when i got to uni i'm not gonna lie i don't know if i should speak on this but like when i got to uni i kind of met someone that i really really loved like i'm not gonna lie i love that girl to bits like but i just feel like the energy was not reciprocated in that friendship like i don't care like i'm not really the type to come on here and tell you guys oh nah like nah i don't have the energy and time for that but i just feel like i have no anger towards her like i just feel like people are in your life and like people walk in and out of your life for a reason i feel like i needed that friendship to learn i needed that i needed to learn how to let go of that friendship to learn like 
how to navigate friendships into future like if like i did not learn what i learned from our like friendship not working out i would not like have this mentality today do you understand so i would not say like oh, oh my god i saw so many red flags like i don't i don't i don't even know what i was looking for that time in a friend so it's like now i've learned i know what i want in a friend like i know the kind of people that like, i want to hang out with so that's why i'll take that as a learning experience like that hurt not gonna lie because I, I don't think i've ever been to, to like a friendship breakup in my life i don't know if i've told you guys this a lot but in my childhood i moved around a lot like i was that kid that changed schools every year so i never really like um i never really um what do you call it i never really had a reason to like latch onto somebody but like when i got to uni and like me and this girl were literally already like mutuals on social media before um uni so it's like when we got to uni we were going to uni every day after lectures um every day not every literally almost every day after lectures because i was commuting from like a different city like a 40 minute like a one hour commute or what, what am i saying 40 minutes like a one hour commute away from uni i was commuting but like every day like after uni instead of me to go home like i literally chill with this girl and her calm we'd be talking on like for hours about rubbish like nothing and like i never had that before in my life with anyone that that wasn't my sister or like that wasn't like close family or friends so like i really 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 did like her but you know things happen for a reason and there's no bad blood but yeah moving on i was um my friendships next year i want to be intentional i want to be the friend that supports her friend and gets the support back i want to be the friend that blows racks on their friends just like they would on their family and i want my friend to do the same for me i don't think i've ever said that out loud before but yeah i'm kind of insecure about the fact that i don't have my own personal friends like i wouldn't say insecure but like it just makes me sad because i feel like when everyone was at that age where they were making friends i was raised, raised with the mentality that which is quite sad that you don't need friends but it's like nah this is this is why like because when i think about it like some days when i'm like really really down it's like you know there's just certain things that you don't really want to bring family into and you're like who can i call like who can i actually call um another thing that i really want to get into in 2024 is fashion like i've been told like growing up like um my family members or like my mom would always make comments or like my sister would always make like oh my god you don't know how to dress like fashion meaning your like your fashion faces the floor <laughs> like that's what that's what, like my mom and my sister used to say to me so like without even realizing i internalized this so unfortunately for me now as an adult literally every time i want to dress up or i wear an outfit i have to ask somebody or oh, is this outfit calm like is it reasonable like and it's not like i don't trust myself when it comes to dressing myself but it's like you know when you're you've been told something like literally for so long you, be, you begin to believe it as well so it's like yeah i'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and actually be a fashion girly like i'm sorry like after that experience i want to be a fashion girl i want to be the beauty and fashion girl like i want to be the beauty fashion wellness girl if you stumbled upon my page because of those makeup with those weight loss videos please stay don't run away because um i promise it's fun over here like i'm definitely going to be posting more about weight loss and my journey but i don't want that to be the only thing that my channel is about because like why would i just talk about weight loss like i'm a, I'm a whole human being with like a personality so ever since those videos on weight loss did so well i've been thinking like should i just make my channel like exercise and weight loss focus and i'm like actually no like my my if people unsubscribe because i'm not giving all weight loss content that's fine because that means they didn't want to stay for me and like also i've been like having a more chilled mindset towards certain things like i've stopped like i've tried to stop stressing over the list things i'm trying to like i've always had a backbone but like right now in my life i really really want to strengthen it like i really want to i want to be that person who walks away from terrible situations i want to I want to always always stand up for myself because i've seen what not standing up for yourself has done for people older than me and i don't want that for my life i don't want that for my life like i want to have boundaries i don't care if you think i'm too strict or like i do the most the people who like are meant to be in my life are gonna be in my life like I don't, next year another thing that not even just next year like moving on my life like i want to treat myself better like i want to like i feel like i owe younger me so much like i owe her so much because i feel like i i basically like i didn't treat her right like i hurt her so so bad so it's like now i literally want to give myself everything in this life like i think i deserve everything that i want because like 
guys i'm not trying to cheat my own horn like i work so freaking hard like i work so hard so like my vibe right now is literally just living life like because girl it's not easy like i know a lot of people like i don't like i feel like i don't give myself enough credit on some days because some like every single time like i have one two people in my life or three three people in my life or four people in my life like i have two long distance friendships which i really really value um like i feel like i need to just trust myself more like all like my friends that i like the few friends or people that i really really care about or like i care about right now in my life they're always telling me that like i need to like give myself some time to chill and that acknowledge my accomplishments because like one toxic trait that i have is that when i accomplish something like it's even happened now even with finishing uni the euphoria lasted for like a day or two and it's like i don't feel like any excitement now i'm now sad about the fact that i don't know what i want to do in life and literally for the past three four years like who would not be happy to finish university at 19 like am i crazy that's that's my problem like i start looking for the next problem start looking for the next task start looking for the next thing to accomplish like i know it's very like it's good to be ambitious but it's also not good when you cannot recognize that you're doing so well because this is literally a sport that you prayed for so it's like why am i moving ungrateful why why am i doing that to myself that is so so disgusting that is lame why would i do that so moving forward i really really want to get over that like, like i'm not a kid anymore like i can't be moving like that i want to avoid burnout so i'm not going to be doing that anymore all of that oh am i good enough talk oh i'm not sure about this talk i want it out of my life like i don't want to do that anymore like guys i'm really being very i don't <laughs> i hope i don't cut out any clips when i'm like um editing this but i just thought like i'd be a lot more vulnerable on this app because i feel like i'm even never here so it's like yeah and let me know if you guys enjoy like these sit down videos because I, these are my favorite videos like i can literally do makeup and listen to you guys and talk to you guys all freaking day like all freaking day and also like follow my tiktok follow my instagram you know to support a girlie that's trying to break into the content world okay but yeah i'm literally doing this makeup because i need to go and film their videos i feel so much happier that i'm able to be vulnerable about certain things because like I, I used to be like in my life i used to be so filled with shame for no reason like before i'd be filled with shame about the fact that oh i did not like biomedical science or like oh i used to feel shame about the fact that my plan was to study medicine like i used to feel like a failure not gonna lie but it's like now i realize that everyone's path is different and if medicine is really really meant for me that degree is not gonna pass me by that admission is going to come if it's meant for me however if it's not meant for me i'm totally fine with life like taking me somewhere that i did not know do you understand because like i'm not gonna lie like yes i knew i wanted to be in the media but i thought like it'd be like as an actress like <laughs> you guys when i was younger what one thing i said to my dad like all the time when he asked me what i want to be i told him like i wanted to be an actress and he was like i'm not paying <laughs> i'm not paying for that degree but like as a joke like like subconsciously i kind of just like forgot about it it's when i see like my older journals from primary school and i'm like oh my god like guys like, I, i've always wanted to be in front of camera this is not new but yeah i've always wanted to be in the media i've always wanted to be on camera like acting honestly if you guys want to book me acting gigs or get me into that world i would not mind because girl i want to be on netflix low-key like i want to be on netflix so if you guys want to plug me up with an acting role even if it's commercials and ads i'm open to that like i'm literally open to that like right now in my life i'm just in a season where i'm open to anything i want to try new things go new places do things i've never done before i feel like it's just part of the experience like i used to be so close-minded like i i don't know what it is about 2023 that opened my eyes like girl like this the awakening has been crazy because it's like now i want to do everything like i not everything but it's like i want to try so many new things and that is so unlike me because even till now when i go to restaurants i order the same basic burger and fries because i don't like disappointment <laughs> but in 2023 i went to restaurants and i tried things other than burger and fries that's how you know i'm growing because i don't play about food because i hate food poisoning that's very random and probably tmi but you know i just thought it'd be a cute detail, detail to add 
but yeah guys i really really like i love the community that i've low-key built on tiktok and i really hope that like i can build that same community on youtube because i feel like i'm literally like a youtube girly like even on my tiktok i want to chat for flipping days like i be forgetting that that app is like an app where people don't have like very long attention spans so it just kind of like put me off of like talking on tiktok because like anytime i made those longer videos like nobody gave a shit but it's like if it's on youtube it's like a time capsule i can always come back watch it and stuff like that or i want to like i've been saying like i had a business when i was 16 and i flipping loved it like this was when i was in uni but i literally stopped because of uni but now that uni is over like i'm low-key like just actually thinking to lean into like starting my own business that is part of what i want to do as i get older because that is in my main goal like career woman or not like i want my own business it's literally in my blood like i feel like no matter what my career is i need to have a business i need to have a side hustle like that's just culture i'm Igbo, and that's super normal like enough like literally our parents will literally have a whole ass career but like have three businesses on the side why because you can never have too much money you can't like there's too much money on the field for you to just have one career and just stick to doing one thing like why should you be loyal to your career when there's so much money to be made so um yeah definitely want to get into there so i'm just gonna go finish my beat and come back so um guys i'm done with my makeup look if you guys love this youtube video and you want to see more videos like this let me know and let me know what topics you'd like me to talk about like i literally just asked tiktok for a q a type video just so that you guys can ask me questions that you'd like me to answer because i really want to get to know you guys i want a community on this app because i love this app so much i love how i connect with other creators on this app i love watching other creators on this app so it's like i might as well step back in but thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe keep up with my instagram please go follow me on instagram i'm really really trying to be a fashion girly i want to grow my page and it's like a bunch of men on my page i want them off i want the girlies please i want the girlies that care about my outfit fit my makeup i don't want ugly men dming me i don't give a fuck about y'all i swear like i'm not gonna reply don't even stress it anyway long story short go subscribe to my youtube channel and comment on my follow my instagram like please girl and my tiktok as well if you want to keep up because i feel like i'm very active on tiktok let's stay connected on youtube we locked in for real like i love you guys so much that like, you guys give the sweetest comments ever okay bye guys i see you guys in my next video